Hey everybody, this is Derek. Just want to do a follow-up video on the death of Anthony Bourdain. I noticed that my subscribers just about doubled after I put up the live stream that I did on the death of Anthony Bourdain last week. For those of you who are new to my channel, please understand that this is actually my second YouTube channel. My first one was deleted in February, and why it was deleted? Well, they told me that it was because of bullying and harassing. However, keep in mind that all I was doing was the same thing I'm doing in these videos, which is just running numbers and asking you if this is a coincidence. And they're not coincidences, and of course, that's why my channel was taken down. But I just want to give you more evidence about what's happening and how our news is scripted. There's a lot of disinformation going on right now, saying that Anthony Bourdain was going to be exposing some elite pedophile ring. This is the same bullshit we were told after Chris Cornell died. It's what we heard after Chester Bennington died. People were muttering about this after Kate Spade died too, and it's ridiculous. What it's doing is hiding the fact that these celebrities are all part of the same secret societies that are giving us our fake news in the first place. It's my opinion that Anthony Bourdain probably isn't dead, but I don't know that. All I can do is show you that something suspicious is going on. So what's come to my attention lately is that a lot of our news is being scripted based on old Batman episodes, which sounds crazy and ridiculous. However, if you understand my work, you know that crazy and ridiculous has no bounds on this channel. You know, we explore everything and we, we just try to get to the bottom of the truth. Well, I'll leave links to this episode series below. It was a two-part series that aired in 1966. And you can read the synopsis where it talks about really interesting things like how the penguin opens up this restaurant and you know they they're there to talk about prison reforms and just last week kim kardashian was in the news she visited with jared kushner and donald trump about prison reforms and then also consider that for no known reason the people at this dinner table uh they're not allowed to give the wait staff their orders orally they have to write it down and hand it to them and think about how last week there were the elections where everyone enters a voting booth and here you have the people right after leaving the restaurant in a phone booth. So there's already some theming going on with last week's news, but I'm going to show you even more evidence of how this is all crafted by the numbers in relation to the death of Anthony Bourdain. So in that video about Bourdain, I started off talking about the number 119. Suicide equals 119. And Anthony Bourdain's full name, Anthony Michael Bourdain, equals 119 in the reverse reduction method. Uh, the season premiere of this last season of Parts Unknown aired on the 119th day of the year. The episode was called West Virginia, which sums to 156, and 156, or I'm sorry, the 156th prime number is 911, the inverse. The villain in this Batman episode, his name was the Penguin. The Penguin equals 119. Of course, this alone is no big deal. If we just write out Penguin, we get 86. And remember, this chef, Anthony Bourdain, chef equals 86, and he died on the 8th of June, written internationally as 8 slash 6. Now, there's more to this. The name of the actor who plays the penguin is named Burgess Meredith. In the reverse alphabetic order, Burgess Meredith equals 232. That's the same as the ordinal gematria of Anthony Michael Bourdain. Chef Anthony Bourdain equals 203. He died on a date with 23 and 32 numerology, two weeks and three days before his birthday. The word suicide in Jewish gematria equals 320. Anyway, this episode was written by Lorenzo Semple Jr. That's who gets the credits. And his name sums to 203. Now, this is actually where it gets good. The chef of the Penguin's restaurant in this episode, and think about how Anthony Bourdain was a popular chef, traveled the world eating cuisine. Well, in this episode, the name of the chef is Cordy Blue. Chef Cordy Blue equals 224 in the reverse alphabetic order. The chef was played by actor Lane Bradford, 
which also sums to 224. And using that same method, Anthony Bourdain equals 224. This first episode of the two-part series, uh, I'm not certain where it says this on IMDb, but you can look this up for yourself. Uh, it's easier to find on Wikipedia. You'll see that this episode called The Bird's Last Jest was the 61st episode of this of the series. Actually, I think it was The Penguin's Nest that was the 61st episode. This was a two-part series, episodes 61 and 62. Well, Anthony Bourdain died at the age of 61... And his show, Parts Unknown, aired for 61 months before he died. But here's the, the real giveaway. Parts Unknown first aired on April 14th, 2013. If you measure to the date of his death, the show aired for 1,881 days. And I did mention this because 61, the age at which he died, is the 18th prime number. So you have 18 and the reflection. Well, if you measure from the date of this second episode of this two-part series, this was called The Bird's Last Jest, Season 2, Episode 28, this episode originally aired on the date December 8th, 1966. And if you measure from that date to the date that he died, you get 18,810 days. And remember, in my last video, I said that we dropped the zeros in numerology. So this 18,810 is virtually the same as 1881, like the number of days his show actually aired. So when we talk about fake news, the fake stream media, they really know no bounds, and they do go to these lengths to code out our news stories. They're actually using shows from 50 years ago and theming them into our news. So this is a whole mind control structure. It's all fake. It's all bullshit. Again, I'll leave the links to this synopsis and the uh, IMDb pages for this episode so you can see for yourself that, you know, everything we're being told about the death of Bourdain is fake, um, including, in fact, probably even the fact that he's dead. So that's going to do it for this video, Truth Seekers. Thanks for watching, and God bless.